I'm Sir TapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Haruto no Nikki, aka the Firefly Diary. A lot of people are confused by the name of this game. Um, it's a pun, and it, like most puns, it only works in its native language, but uh, basically, this is pronounced the same way as the Firefly Diary is. I, I kind of wish NIS just, or Nisa just called it the Firefly Diary with the real name as the subtitle, but. Uh, so this originally came out on PlayStation Vita. I uh, I went and got the limited edition for this. It's a very nice limited edition, but uh, they went and gave the entire contents of the limited edition in a different game's limited edition. Um, Yamwari Night Alone now comes with the entire contents of this game's limited edition and its own limited stuff. So uh, if you want this game on Vita, just I would recommend getting that pack instead. This is the PC version. Our V copy was provided by NIS America. Yes, Parker. And this game is extremely cute. It's this sort of... The Firefly is Lumen, the girl is Mion. So this game is sort of a part of sort of a not quite series of grim, cute games that NIS has. Let's go outside by using the door, okay. So, this game originally controlled with touchscreen and had an option for uh, a couple of different, uh, you know, button, analog stick uh, movement options. Uh, it works best with touchscreen or with obviously mouse on PC works just fine. Uh, wait, I, I missed my thought there. So, there's a series. There's three games now. There's this game. There's Yamari Night Alone. Uh, which is like a horror game, uh, even more horror than this. And there's Rose and the Old Castle, which I am not even sure about that one, but they're all these sort of very cute but very grim art style, and I really like them. And they're like, they're like cute chibis, but horrible stuff is happening. It's a very interesting mix. And oh, boop. If me untouches a box, you'll grab it. Parky, Parky, please. Parker. So, uh, I'm sorry, Parker's being difficult. So you control Mion indirectly by using Lumen. Um, she's mostly pretty cooperative. You can pretty much always tell what she's going to do. There's a few annoying situations we'll get to later on. Mion can interact with highlighted objects. Try clicking on one with Lumen. To be honest, I, I went and went straight for the limited edition of this game just because art was super cute and if you do get the game um beware there are spoilers in the art book um like boss spoilers and stuff parky you should probably expect that from an art book i guess but uh something to be aware of Oop. parky please just get my cat away so this super cute thing is a uh, trace memory. We these are hidden in some of the levels. This one you're all but required to find. In fact, you may actually be required to find. Yeah, this is our cute little past life. I love that our past life is in pixels. There we go. Um, some of the art in this game. The game was designed for the Vita, which is uh, four five forty p exactly one fourth of ten eighty p pixel count wise. And uh, unfortunately, there's some little artifacts here and there. I'm playing it on 1080p on PC right here. Uh, there's little artifacts in some of the, the FMVs, and the art is a little smudgy. The pixel art looks fine, as always, of course. Oh, Dougie wants the, uh, the bunny. Let's go get the bunny. But first, let's see what's on TV. Hi, Mr. TV, man. Nukes! I'm sure that's nothing to be concerned about. Let's let's just go get our bunny. That's that's nothing to worry about as a little girl, obviously. With cute little drawings. Also, I appear to be the only one in this house that has, you know, a room. Whatever. I'm not sure why this transition takes so long. But yeah, the, this game is basically identical to the Vita version other than the control scheme, obviously. Um, I would just get it on whatever platform you prefer. There is a physical Vita version. I think it's pretty much sold out, but you can get the, um, the limited edition of, um, what's it called? Yamori Night Alone. 
I'll also be trying to get a video out for Yamari Night Alone when uh, when that happens. Uh, if you want a physical copy of this, I think your current options are basically either you know pay scalper price or get that uh, limited edition for that. If it hasn't sold out, I'm not sure if it has or not. So if you collect a memory fragment from a stage, you know it's a collectible. It'll show up on the stage select screen. So at least they're tracked collectibles. So I hate when games have collectibles but don't have any sort of tracking. You know, even if you want to make getting all of them difficult, at least give me a tracker as like a beat the game bonus. Oh, and let's show you the options screen really quick here. It's a little basic, but it gets us what we need to do. You know, it gives you the sound or not the yeah, it gives you the sound. Mouse, gamepad, mouse and keyboard. We're just gonna use the mouse and keyboard. Um, gives you language. You can get the Japanese if you want. Uh, I definitely recommend the pillar box, but we are already at. It's already 169, so I don't think you should need to stretch anyway, unless you have a really weird display. Um, but how do I get? No, back. Oh, I actually think we were supposed to continue beyond to the left there. I have not beaten this game on Vita. I do have it on Vita. I played uh, quite a bit. I played through to the second boss, and I got really frustrated. I'll point it out when we get there. Uh, I think I'll probably just go ahead and do a full video. Let's play this. I've heard it's only like two hours if you play it well. It's a puzzle game, so I mean, getting stuck can easily be a bulk of your time. What are you doing, Lumen? Oh, hello. That is Umbra, our alternate little thingy. Right click to enter the shadows. The shadow world is cast by Lumen's light. So, this is one of our primary mechanics here Umbra the firefly following Meons within her shadow. Move between the shadows. Umbra can be controlled by dragging. So the the touchscreen controls work basically the same as the mouse, except your fingers don't obscure the screen, obviously. Try clicking the roach attached to the windmill. <laughs> Poor Meon. This is sort of your hint that you gotta be careful what you have Umbra do, because it can hurt Meon. Um Meon can get hurt. There's nothing too gory. Um it's a teen rated game, I believe. You just see some cartoony blood splatters on the screen. Um, nothing like Mortal Kombat awful. But uh, I'll still do my best to not hurt me on, of course. Umbra will automatically. So here we can't do anything with Meon or Lumen. And actually, Umbra can't get up there, so switch back. Let's try a different route. You can move the shadows a little bit. The shadows are cast by Lumen, actually. So sometimes you need to position Lumen, but for the most part... There we go. Yeah, that's why we didn't want to be standing there. Um, as you can see, we move the shadow around here. But for the most part, shadows' positions will always be the same relative to each other. So you usually don't need to move Umbra, or Lumen, to affect Umbra. Yeah, this game, yeah, this one's a pure puzzle game. The other, um, Yamori Night Alone, uh, it's not like a direct sequel or anything, but uh, it's the same art style, and it's, it is a horror game, apparently, and it's like, huh? Oh, oops, I told me I'm to sit accidentally. Uh, you can, you can sort of activate Lumen over her when, uh, whoa. Uh, when you want her to sit still, and then she won't follow Lumen. So you can do that if, like, if I needed her to sit down and then go do something over here and then come back. That's what you'd do. And it's useful to keep her from getting into trouble. If you click me on. Oh, yeah, the game's telling you what I just told you. Alright, so here. I actually have two dangerous obstacles. Let's try not to hurt me on here. Uh, the, the game is fairly liberal with checkpoints. That is actually our only... Wait, can we get all the way... Yeah, there's a certain radius you can move Umber around. So you gotta puke out some gross steam here. Uh, I'm 
not sure what that did. Oh, it casts a shadow. Okay. Now I can move Umbra up here. And sever that. Can we turn off the nasty smoke? Probably be best for me on. No? I'm not sure if this is bad. Nah, it's fine. You can breathe in horrible green smoke all the time. It's it's fine. I'm not sure if we're supposed to do anything with that. The game does look a teeny bit sharper, like on the Vita, because of the you know it's originally designed for that. But uh, let's go ahead and break that. Oh, for Pete's sake! I think I fell for that the first time I played too. Yeah, that's that's all the gorier the deaths have, are. Um, it's nothing too gross. But that that is a really rude, like. <sighs> I think the game's just trying to screw with you, honestly. So we want to get that little bunny. Oh. Never mind. So there are little bunnies hidden around. Uh, I think those are a secondary collectible in addition to the trace memories. Um, I really like the shadows though. I mean, it's a 2D game, but it's still a really nice shadow work. Uh, it gives it a really good look. So as as you might guess, um, us trying to get the bunnies. The no, the bunnies never live long. But we're still gonna get them anyway, if I can. Uh, this probably sounds very too hard. No, no, get 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 the bunny. Meon, Meon. Okay, she's she's a little fussy around boxes sometimes. Get get the thing, Meon. Meon, get the bunny. Wait, does she just get the bunny on her own, maybe? No. Hmm. I think I may need that second box to get the bunny. Wait, how do I... How do I make her stop again? Alright. No, no. You gotta kinda go down to make her stop pushing, and you gotta go up to make her climb up on it. I think we actually require the two boxes. So it's sort of escal escalating in uh, difficulty of getting the bunnies. It's just for an achievement. Uh, I think the trace memories are more significant. Um, I'm not sure if this will work. But I want that bunny. I think I may have had to... Um... Oh! You can push the top box first. Okay. Okay, now push the... No, me on. Yeah, when, when there's a ton of different interaction objects all in the same spot, she does get a little confused, as you might expect. But hey, she's a little girl, and we are a magic firefly. So, uh, no, climb up, me on. Go up. How do you... Okay, I think she might not be able to push. I think she might not be able to get on the box. Like, affect the top box anymore. Oh well. We'll just have to abandon that bunny. It's really not a big deal. So yeah, if you try to walk over that, you just get the spikes. We don't like that. The game's music's just kind of... This ambient stuff. Bad things can happen, so sometimes you need to be a little fast. Wait. What? Oh. I see. Sometimes you just need to, you know, do a little trial and error. It is a puzzle game after all. So, sometimes you just need to see what Umber can do. It's not always immediately obvious what Umber can and can't do, so. If you're stuck, just go to Umber mode and there's probably something you missed. Alright. 
I thought we needed to run for it. it. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. It. Oh, there's Mr. Bunny. Nope, you gotta get Mr. Bunny me on. I think that's Mr. Bunny. I might have to stop getting the Mr. Bunnies because her face, when it goes away, is making me sad. So there's little cutscenes between chapters or whatever. Is this our first boss? Oh, yep, sure is. So there's boss fights, like any good puzzle game. Alright. So this guy, he's not a friendly person. Can I? I honestly forget how you deal with this boss. Uh, let's just keep running for now. So what's cool about this boss, you'll notice, the shadows are blocking him. He, he's a shadow. And all of this stuff that isn't in Mion's way, it's still casting a shadow. So it's blocking him. So I, uh, that's a really cool boss. So the beginning here, we're just running. Oh. Oh, right, I think that was just, you know, oh, oh. Never mind. Ah, no! That's not good. Okay. I thought I was, like, stuck there for a second, but no, you, you just gotta run, I guess. Wait, can I drop that on him? No? Oh, I can! Oh, good. Okay, wait. Do I hit him again with Umbra? No, you just gotta drop crap on him. Okay, the second boss is a lot more convoluted. And I do not like the second boss very much. We'll, we'll see why later. I'll probably call this a video after this one. Like I said, I think the game's supposed to be about, about two hours when you know what you're doing. Uh, it's probably gonna translate to more than two hours. What? Oh, there's a thing. Hey, keep going, Mion! Oh, come on. I think I hesitated. I think I'm actually doing worse this time than when I first played through it. So we just gotta drop crap on him. I'm not sure Mion's... Mion seems a little slow right now. I don't think this will hit me on. Yeah, I got a little stuck there. Is she actually running faster when Lumen is closer? I think she might be. Let's keep Lumen at about this distance. So I panicked because I. What? Hey, come on! What? I don't get what I'm doing wrong here, because I'm slightly too far. Ugh, for Pete's sake. Hmm. I didn't see anything else to drop on him. I don't think you can just directly hit him. Let's drop crap on him first. And sometimes some of those don't actually appear until you get pretty dang close. Alright, so let's see if there's... Yeah, there's nothing I can do inside of him. Alright, go back. If you can't tell, the controls are pretty simple. Just left click for Lumen, right click for Umbra. There must be something with this, right? What What is the deal here? Because that's so far away, I can't get to it. Can I not stop him with the thing? Oh. What? No way! I'm right on it! 
Oh, wait. I think I let my shadow get too close to him. I gotta... If you keep your shadow away from him, I think that's... I think that's the mistake I'm making? I... I don't know why I'm so bad at this. I... I think I only got took one or two tries for this. Oh come on! When I play, first played it, I really don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. Ah, oh, damn it! It's supposed to be pretty simple. What are you doing? Keep going, Neon! What are you doing, Parker? Yeah, uh, uh, Why- why do I slow down? I don't get what I'm doing wrong. Um, a pretty common complaint of this game is the difficulty. I'm just not sure why I'm slowing down sometimes. And why that one time I was like really close, but... It still didn't work. There's only one point of interaction here. I definitely think this game is pretty flawed in execution-wise, but I, I just i am really glad the series... Or, you know, the art style at least continued and... I do th think with a bit more work, like I'd love to see another one of these, but it's definitely confusing and and what what, what is the deal here? Can I do something with this? Oh, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I was stupid, and there was a thing to activate. That that that, that happens sometimes. So you gotta be on the lookout for stuff with Umbra. Like like I said before, the um, Umbra's activation points aren't always visible until you get really close to them. So I thought it was the game being weird. That was actually entirely my fault. I don't know why I didn't remember that from before. Yeah, the game can be a little. Uh oh. Hmm. Um, a little rude. See, so yeah, you gotta walk up to him like this. Squish! <laughs> Dropped a train on him! <laughs> Rest in peace, jackass. Alright. Well, that's chapter one. See, the art is so good. See, it's a little pixely in the 1080p version, but uh, it all looks perfect on the Vita. And that's sort of an unfortunate side effect of developers developing for Vita, but not, you know, doing a master in at least 1080p. I kind of wish they would do that. I wish more game devs would go PS4 and PS Vita. So we get different environments each uh, chapter. Um, hopefully next time will not be fraught with so much me being stupid as that that, that boss was. Um, some of it's, you know, the game being a little bit obtuse, but uh, I should have known what to do there. Yeah, this is Firefly Diary. I'll I'll probably just play the whole dang game. Um, I really like it even with its flaws. It's just so cute and such a perfect mix. I usually don't even like the grim, cute, like, I don't even like the Doki Doki Magic Magic stuff where it's like, Oh ho, you thought it was cute, but it is gore, ha ha! I don't usually like that stuff. But, and I don't like the dark humor, you know, laid on top. But this is just the right balance for me. Like, for one thing, it's not playing it for laughs. You know, it's trying to be serious, and you're trying not to see the horrible things. Kill the cute little girl. So, I think that's part of why, like... It's a game where you're protecting the cute. And I think that's a lot more valid to me than, you know... Haha, <laughs> you thought it was cute things, but it is dying cute things. I laugh in your face. And just in general, I'm really tired of this whole fad of the way you make a good show or a video game or anything with writing at all. 
You make yourself a bunch of characters that are relatable and likable and strong, and then you kill them. You kill this guy, you kill the wife and kids, you kill the strong badass woman, you kill the guy that's really sympathetic and never does anything wrong. You just kill everybody because that's good writing, you know? You make a bunch of people, you make the audience like them, then you just murder them. And you know, it, it really worked well with Danganronpa. I, it, it got me, okay? But I'm so over that and I do not want every single piece of media I consume to be that emotionally draining and it's rarely done as well as it is in like Danganronpa. I'll flip this one switch. You, you get you get that for free. I'll flip the switch. But then everything else is in the next video. See Mion's just so cute. How could you not like? And sorry, I forget how much the game is. There'll be a link to the Steam and PSN. It was like 15 bucks on PSN, so it's probably about the same on Steam. Um But yeah, it, um, um, what I said about two hours, like, that's not including, um, getting all the trophies and stuff. There's gonna be, there's some trophies for doing some puzzles perfectly, or, um, you know, if, if you're a real puzzle master, you'll get a little bit more out of it. But, uh, for me, 15 bucks for super cute and cool art style, that, that's really all I need, to be quite honest. I, well, you know me, I like my artsy crap. Anyway, this is like a five minute monologue at the end here. I'll cut myself off. Um, stay tuned next time for when we get on that ladder. Or not ladder. Elevator. Whatever. See, th this is why I can't puzzle. My brain is mush. I'm sorry. <laughs>